But first, Dave Rubin, who, Dave, if you're watching this, stop fucking impersonating me, impersonating you. It's enough. And people who see this will know what I'm talking about. He was on a British uh, show. I don't know the name of the British show. It's, I don't know how important it is. What's No Filter? Wait. No, No Filter is my no show. No Filter is Anna's show. I think he was on Sky News, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, well, if it, Sky News is trying to be like the British Fox. And so he was on uh, this show with this British guy. And I'm sorry, I should, you know, whatever. That's, that's the amount of uh, this guy, this British guy with the blue yeah. shirt. And Dave. <laughs> <laughs> that guy kind of looks like he could be Jake's brother. <laughs> <laughs> You're not progressive, are you? <laughs> so, 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 of course, in a British accent. <laughs> of course. Of course, Dave Rubin's a moron. So, uh, Dave. Finally, and I, I, I would speculate that Dave maybe has heard this stuff before. I'd also would say that I'm, I, this is all opinion, Dave. This all opinion. Everything is opinion. I'll keep saying that because I think Dave has his mind on some things. I think yeah. Dave's like, hey, we could be leaving things on the table. There's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of studio equipment at these places. This is him watching you tell what, in my opinion, is the truth about him. Right. And his reaction. And now... I'm going to go ahead yes. and say it's not an opinion, it's fact. And if he wants to come at me with any type of lawsuit, please do so. Please do yeah, so. No, yeah. No, I'm just saying yeah. because and name the young you know I have receipts, homeboy. <laughs> yes. You know it. Oh. And um, look, before we oh, get to the video, delicious. Yes. before we get to the video, let me just say, um, I also uh, have some you know, self-awareness. I hate the way I sound in this video. Oh. You know, it's it's genuine and, you know, the... The passion in which I make my case is real. is real. Yes. But with that said, I, I sound unbearable. I don't agree. I think you sound clear and concise talking about an unbearable person. But <laughs> regardless, and no offense to you, Anna, but the real takeaway of this clip is his facial reactions. Like, yep. that's what we're watching for. Go ahead. Can I please finally tell the truth about why he left the Young Turks? He wanted to make a six-figure salary to host a 30-minute a week show when everyone here, you know, because we work <laughs> for an independent news company, oh was getting paid far less while working 12-hour days. That's why Dave Rubin left the company. And now all of a sudden he's getting funded by the Koch brothers <laughs> and all of a sudden his opinions are very different. He has no political identity. He is not an honest actor. He is not an intellectual. He is a fraud. That's who Dave Rubin I mean, I mean, quite I wish I knew how she really felt. Boy, <laughs> oh, that's God, no right. I'm begin. sorry, pause it. Is there ever hack. a time where he doesn't go to not only the hack line, but the hack line that the hack would be like, all right, that's a hack line? Yeah. Like, ever. This motherfucker goes there. <laughs> Always. All right, please finish. How she really felt. Boy, that's. <laughs> but no point uh, where to begin. You know, fraud, lazy, <laughs> avaricious, you know, immoral. Uh, you wanted more money. First off, I never asked for him. You know, it's so silly to even, unfortunately, to have to talk about these little nonsensical oh, things. Because I, because I, I like talking about ideas, not about people. I, can't, I, I never can't, asked for more money. I can't. Well, that's number one. I left. I told them. I can't believe. <laughs> he must not watch the critics, right? Because. If someone calls me out, rightfully so, for using some lame, tired argument, then I would be hyper aware of it and I wouldn't use that argument anymore. But he's still doing it. He's still saying ideas. I just want to talk about ideas. What are your ideas? I want to know what his ideas are. I haven't heard a single idea from him. Well, my idea is that we should talk about ideas. The main one is that Muslims are destroying <laughs> yeah, Europe. Yeah. Well, Muslims are really bad, but there's also other things that we could talk about too. <laughs> that's number one. I left. I told them I was leaving and I left. There were no, no negotiations. That's it. Actually, my, my executive producer, who I brought with me, uh, they offered to double his salary that's if he true. stayed. So together, we would have made more money if we'd stayed. But that has nothing to do with nothing. Um, Does it make you I would say that? No, it's like, it's <laughs> kind of pathetic, really. I'm not funded by the Koch brothers. I mean, I wish I was funded by the Koch brothers. That would be nice. I wouldn't be wearing H&M underwear. I mean... It's like, so this, is, this, is, this is what I'm talking about. It's that sort of endless hysteria, attacking people, attacking motives. <laughs> Nobody's interested in that anymore. I really don't think people are interested in that. I think people are super interested in, in that hysteria, hysteria and the conflict. But um, let me just say, he, he is telling the truth about one thing. And uh, his 
So his husband is his producer. Okay. And he was really good at what he did. And so when Dave Rubin wanted to leave, we wanted to keep his husband because he was good at production. Oh, shit. And so I, I don't know for sure if they offered to double his salary, but I know that he was offered a raise and Dave Rubin was so insulted by that because <laughs> the company was basically like, yeah, you can go Rubin, but we want to keep your husband <laughs> and we'll pay him more. And mind you, this entire time, Rubin's like lobbying them to pay him more, pay Ooh, me more. Shit. I'm going to do this really lame 30 minute yeah. a week show on like yeah. social stuff. It's like the Daily Show, except it's not funny. And yeah. It's also like talk soup, except it's not the 1990s. <laughs> Double my salary. Jeez. <laughs> And there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with leaving to go make more money. Yeah, um, one, definitely. Of, one of our great producers um, actually got offered to go work somewhere else and make more money. She left. G good for you. We're, we're not hating on you for that. But my attack toward him was because for two years straight, he was bad mouthing us over and over and over again. And I'm like, I can't, I can't take it anymore. I How have to say something. How did that work? I mean, he built his whole brand on trashing you guys mm -hmm. for years. And then was it just like, I mean, I, I get it. Like it's, it's like in much smaller, like you, you can't respond to everything, obviously. Mm -hmm. So was it just like a conscious decision to like just be the better people? So, or was it because of your lack of interest in ideas? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, at first, as I've talked about before, I was hurt more than anything because we were friends. And right. so it was weird that he left on good terms. We're still friends. We're still hanging out. And then out of nowhere, he goes on Rogan's show. And I think that was the very first time he publicly attacked us. And he never named me. He would just say the Young Turks or he would specifically target Jank. And so I remember texting him and saying, what are you doing? Why are right. you doing, we're friends. Why are you doing this? And why are you making things up about us? He's like, well, I'm not talking about you. I'm just, you know, I'm talking about Jank I'm, and, and TYT. Oh, see, he didn't have his line yet. Yeah. He should have said I'm talking about. I'm just talking about my ideas. About my about ideas. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of ideas about TYT. <laughs> and the thing is, like, I'm kind of half the face of TYT. Right. I mean, that so. is that is a pretty incredible, like, you are literally you're on the fucking Twitter account, right? Mm -hmm. Like, isn't it like a photo of you and Jank? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's that's like a, a pretty outwardly facing part of the whole brand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, and then look, after watching that video the first time, I enjoyed it. And right. then I felt bad. I felt bad because you can see the hurt in his face. You can see like it was like a gut punch and I felt guilty and I said, you know what? I, I've said my piece and I don't need to go at it anymore. But you keep reeling me in, Michael. I know. <laughs> you keep reeling me a in. A Godfather 3 it every time. It's too funny. He's also just, I mean, it's not just that he's a piece of shit and we're going to look at this for a second, but it's also that he's like a conduit for so, like, and I don't know why, because to be honest, like I didn't really watch him when he was on TYT. Because like, he was I, terrible. Because he was terrible yeah. and also, you know, it was just like, yeah, I just don't catch everything, right? Yeah. And yeah, I never, I, it wasn't like I ever saw a panel and thought like, Dave made a good point. <laughs> so that's true. But then I noticed that was like this guy, first it was like he was building his whole brand on like, I'll be the dumb guy that Sam Harris can whine about being mistreated with. And of course, that immediately, I'm like, because I am like Sam Harris, nope, don't buy that bullshit, totally mm -hmm. toxic figure in our culture, period. And, and but then, yeah, then I noticed, I was like, wait a second, like this whole brand is going to be built on like trashing a place. Now, look, no doubt if you offered me, there is a number that I could go on. I could be like, look, Sam sucks. And <laughs> let me break it down. But I would do a good job at breaking it down. Mm -hmm. I would I would have my brief mastered. So I think there was also yeah. just something so fundamentally offensive about it was like, you're doing the, but you're still just bad. Yeah. I like, mean, where's the hustle? There's got to be a little bit of work in right. your grifting, right? Right. Because he, it just, even if you don't believe in what you're saying, right? Like you should care about the way you appear. And if I wanted to be a grifter, I want to at least seem smart about it. And you know the thing, the thing with him is I don't even think, and, and this is not, you know, again, this literally is all speculation. I feel like it's almost like pre-belief or not belief. Like he's, he's just, he's super dim. All right, this is the, 
<laughs> yeah. What I'm trying to say is not a bright guy. Well, he says he's They're a- very ironic that this guy would do race and IQ platforming. That's all I'll say. Extremely ironic. Mm. All right. What's this info, Matt? So Dave has and been then we'll move on to becoming and more and more bold about saying that he's not funded by the Koch brothers, but he is funded by Koch brother think tanks, yeah. uh, including on February 27th, they announced uh, a new partnership. Exciting news, ARI, that's the Ayn Rand Institute, has partnered with Dave Rubin for a special series of the Rubin Report titled Objectivism on Happiness. Now, uh, n- not only is Ayn Rand uh, funded by right-wing billionaires, but literally the Koch brothers... Um, if you look at, I think this is, uh, I forget what this website is called, but it's sort of like Wikipedia. Is that SourceWatch? Yeah, it might be SourceWatch. So uh, you get grants from the Charles Koch Foundation, you know, 42K in 2014, only 4,800 in 2015, but also receives funding from Donors Capital Fund, which is a much more dark, darker dark money group that the Koch brothers hide behind. If I got money directly from them, I could have Uniqlo underwear. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess that's the question, Dave, is how much money do you get from think tanks connected to the Coke Yeah, brothers? I don't know. We're just ideas. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I can't. My brain is still in recovery mode from taking in so many high-level important ideas. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. I you just... get, get this again. Come on, come on. Go. I have to say that my brain is still in recovery mode from taking in so many high-level important ideas. When, oh. when did he say that? Was that recent? Uh, that was... <laughs> high-level important ideas. It was within the last year, and it was referring to a live event he did with the uh, Brett and Eric Weinstein. <laughs> high-level important ideas like Peter Thiel good, college kids being mean to be bad. By the way, check out uh, Timba on Toast, T-I-M-B-A-H uh, oh, yeah. dot on dot toast because he did a three-part series where i pulled that i stole that drop from so all right to close it one more time please i have to say that my brain is still in recovery mode from taking in so many (laughs) high level important ideas (laughs) it makes me like a fucking child (laughs) ideas are my cocaine Wait, you're turning it into like an early 90s backpack rap? <laughs> like, ideas of my cocaine. <laughs> Unbelievable. I care about those guys. Does It really just uh, honestly doesn't matter. It matters. <laughs> it matters a lot. He knows it. Oh, my God. All right. You've just watched a Michael Brooks show video, and you can watch all of our full main live shows every Tuesday night at around 7 p.m. Eastern time and subscribe to get all of the clips you want. We're covering the globe. We're focusing on international relations, the intellectual dark web. We're having fun. We're doing deep dives with a lot of amazing guests. Of course, become a patron for the whole thing at patreon.com slash TMBS or subscribe to this YouTube channel and help us keep growing and get that content out there. Subscribe below.